welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I got a call this morning from a fellow who has a swarm, uh, yeah, has a swarm <laughs> hanging on a column on the front of his house and he is out of town now. I, st I don't know if they're still there but I'm just riding out here to take a look. If they are, I'll see if I can scoop them up. I'm out here between some pretty severe storms. I hope that the weather has cleared up for the afternoon. I'd hate for it to start pouring on me again while I'm trying to get them. So let's see what we get when we get out there. I found it after a little searching. It's a pretty rural location out here. It's a nice place, nice looking place so far. Nice land anyway. This is one of those uh, driveways you don't want to walk to the mailbox. It must have been a half mile long driveway. Well, they're still in here. We may be a little late getting to them. Uh, it's either a pretty small swarm or they've started working down into that column. I'm getting my smoker started up real quick here. I don't plan on using it right off the bat. I want to try to dig through them and find the queen without stirring them up and running her up into a space I can't find her. So unless they're really irritable, I won't be smoking them. If you can see how this is built, there's gaps in this framing. I think they may be inside this framing already. If they are, I'm gonna have to come back another day and do a cutout. It appears that they are in the frame. Well, they hadn't been in there very long. They just noticed them today, and uh, I think they're out here on the porch every day, so they would have noticed if they'd been here a while. So I'm gonna try to get all these into a box and then smoke inside the frame and see if I can run them out. If they've only been here a day, there won't be much built inside. Swapping back and forth between ladders. I weigh too much for that other ladder. kind of gently moving them so I don't squish any of them. That's the last thing I want to do is smash them and get the alarm pheromone going. Not in there though. 
She is hiding them. Well, she knows it's the, she is, the, the life of the colony depends on her, doesn't She it? is without a doubt the smartest one in the colony, and sometimes she's hard to find. But, no. I could get a bigger one of those if that would help me. Oh, no, this is a perfect size. Start keeping one of these in my truck. <laughs> After a while, all you gotta do is warm it up and it turns back to liquid and it's just fine. Yeah, there's a, I think we all tend to be thinking that local honey is good for allergies. Yeah, um, it is. You know. It helps, for sure. Yeah,
queen is still there. Yeah, they won't be here. There's not enough here to. Well, when I get through with them, there won't be enough here to, to, to support, uh, support a colony. She re she's got to rely on them to be able to build comb and bring in food supplies so she can lay eggs and make babies. Mm -hmm. And without that, she's just kind of dead yeah, in the yeah, water. Yeah, without the. The food, she's she's a goner, and without her, there's no more eggs. So yeah, that's it. 